This video is brought to you by the 3 Minute Board Game Patrons. Keep us independent by supporting us on Patreon. Kia ora koutou and welcome to Elder Sign in about 3 minutes. It has a solo mode, it's a game for 1-4 to four players, playing time is medium, and it's a reasonably complex game. There's something going on at the Arkham Museum. Can you and your colleagues explore this place and discover its secrets before the ancient evil behind it all awakens? All players win if they collectively get a number of Elder Signs shown on the great old one you are battling. You lose if all players run out of health or sanity. Dice. Elder Sign is all about rolling and assigning dice. Variable player powers. Each investigator has unique powers and abilities. Player turn. Each game will be against one of the great old ones. Select the one you want to play against and note their special rules. Each player selects an investigator, gain the starting item shown on their sheet. Here that is one purple spell and one red unique item. Other characters may start with yellow common items or clue tokens. The core of the game is its dice. The basic dice have one, two and three investigation symbols on them, as well as law, terror and peril symbols. The yellow die has four clues instead of a peril and the red die has a wild card symbol. Set up six encounters on the board, and when it is your turn, choose one to do. We pick the graveyard and move our player marker there, but let's also show our character sheet. We take the six green dice and then decide if we want to get any extras. We spend this card here to get the yellow die. We then roll them all. We can assign dice to complete any of the three tasks shown on the encounter. Here that is a total of seven investigation. We roll again and get this result, and place the peril on that spot. And next roll we get this result, which has no matches to our last available task. But even worse than that we have rolled a peril and not been able to place it. This triggers the terror ability, which is not great. To avoid that we spend a clue and re-roll that die and we get lucky. This completes the encounter card and gives us the rewards in its bottom right. A clue, a red unique item, and the middle symbol is a gate opening. Our character also lets us draw an extra unique item. We replace the encounter card with a new one, and because we had a gate opening, we draw another world encounter card as well. These cards are high risk and high reward. Some encounters will make you take damage as you progress. Others will have spots where monsters can spawn, and monsters make encounters have an extra task. And yet other encounters must be done in order. Now let's look at failure. Here we can't match any result, so we discard a die and roll again. We repeat that until we run out of dice. And then we take the failure consequences in the bottom left of the encounter card. In this case, two damage. It's our friend's action next, and they go to the same encounter card. When they get stuck, they have some options that we did not. First, they can store a die on our character for later use. And secondly, they can use spells to store dice. That makes solving this encounter a lot easier. After each player's turn, rotate this clock. When it hits midnight, resolve any midnight effects on encounter cards, plus draw a mythos card and resolve it. Mythos cards and failing some encounters add doom to this track, and that's how monsters get added to the board. And if it fills up, the old one awakens and starts attacking. Why would you like this game? Elder Sign is one of the Arkham File games from Fantasy Flight Games, and it's one of the lighter and more accessible ones. There's still a lot to do here, and the core gameplay loop of rolling dice, matching symbols, and solving encounter cards is very solid. And there's a truck ton of characters, old ones, and encounter cards. It also has a great phone app. On top of that, there's a bunch of good expansions that really improve the overall experience, but as for the core set alone, it's a great lightweight co-op game for those folk who love dice and want something lighter than most Arkham games. The uh, best thing about this game is its simple core Yahtzee based dice system. It makes it very easy to teach. However, if you hate dice you're really going to hate this game, as some bad dice rolls can leave you in a downward spiral, because winning encounters gets you cards to make the next encounter easier, and failure leaves you rolling nothing but 6 green dice alone. Interested about Arkham Files? Check out our retrospective on Arkham Horror here. And for something more involved, check out Arkham the Card Game. Elder Sign. Screw this guy hate him. And if you enjoyed this video, hit the notification button, like, share, and subscribe to the channel.